Put up the mic. Hello. Sir, lot of noise, sir. Oh, it's fine, sir. Okay. Okay, let's wait for uh, a more question, please, sir. We will start from P5. Okay, sir. Thank you. 
Could we start, sir? Yeah, do you have any doubts for the previous sessions? Uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. I have few doubts, sir. In week seven, I have doubts uh, on uh, few, four, four, three questions. I have doubts, sir. I am doubting the procedure. Uh, the questions which I have shown? No, sir. Actually, I've been uh, going through your, uh, I mean, uh, that uh, a pair of uh, uh, that live sessions. Mm -hmm. So there is uh, no update on uh, Google Drive, sir. Uh, means it's showing empty slides. Uh, okay. Did you check just recently because uh, I just uploaded that yesterday? Okay. I mean, whenever I check, uh, it it's showing empty. That's why. Uh, okay. Okay. I will check one second, sir. But I have a doubt on uh, week seven, uh, five to six, four questions. I have doubt, sir. I mean to say uh, which I have shown in the sessions because there there may be different questions which I have shown. Yes, sir. One second. Week seven. Yes, sir. Week seven. In week seven, we have studied related to current mirrors. Sir, I am comfortable with this, sir. I mean, afterwards, I think I think uh, you discussed in week eight, I think week eight or week nine. Yes. This live session I attended, sir. Week seven. So week eight. Sir, I think you discussed on last week, sir. I mean, I am comfortable in this area also. So this is uh, last week, right? Week eight. This is week nine. So last will be week eight, right? I mean, uh, may, uh, I mean, there is a delay in the. Uh, uh, I think sir. there is a delay. I think. So last last week we discussed this. No, sir. I am comfortable with this area also, sir. So which week are we talking about then? Sir, uh, sir, it in the in the course it will show week seven, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, actually they have we missed some part of it, so that's why there will be some delay. Maybe in week nine uh, there will be some questions uh, which I have taken from the set. So we'll start. Then maybe uh, after the session you can show me what questions you want to discuss. Then we'll discuss. Okay, sir. Fine, okay. fine. So we will continue uh, with our differential amplifier. So on the previous session, we know that if you have differential amplifier like this, So this is M1, so we, we derive the relations and finally we got the answer for gain. So can you tell me now what would be the gain for this circuit? Sir, GM1 into R02 parallel with R04. 
Yes, sir. R zero two parallel with R zero four. If you, or else we can take R zero one and R zero three. Yes. Because sir. Yeah. Right. So this is actually only possible when uh, these transistors are identical, right? Uh, yes, sir. Then only it will act as a differential amplifier. Oh. Similarly, these two transistors need to be identical as well. In the previous session, we will find the derivation for this as well. How we get this actually? So this is uh, this was the case when we didn't consider CLM channel lane modulation. Now we will see if we want uh, to analyze a circuit, and there is a channel link modulation in the circuit as well. We will see if there is any change to our final output. Okay. So same circuit, uh, keep same circuit in mind. If I now draw its equivalent circuit, so if you know what is the resistance for M3, what is this resistance? Uh, sir, it should be. Uh, 1 by uh, GM3, sir. 1 by GM3, right. So it is 1 by GM3. And similarly, I run the. GM. Let's say this is a signal of VCM. This also has a signal of gate bias of VCM. So CNN of uh, here, you know that when you do. DC analysis, there is a current source here, right? I naught. And for I naught, we consider infinite resistance, but now we consider that there is some resistance. R naught. Okay. So then we will see if there is some change. This is your output, and this is okay. So tell me, what will be this GM multiplied by? What will be the voltage here, and what will be voltage here? Sir, it should be uh, uh, GM of VGS, sir. If you apply input voltage VGS. So what will be VGS? Uh, here, uh, input is not there, na. It would be minus VS, right? So V, no VCM is input. Oh, okay, fine. Then, uh, yeah, it should be VCM minus V. Yes. VCM minus V. Similarly, here as well, this is VCM minus V. Yes. Right? So, now tell me what will be this voltage? Let's call it VP. What will be VP? Sir, minus GM into VCM minus VS into 1 by GM3. Okay, first tell me what will be this current here. What will be if this is Vs? What will be this current? Vs by R, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So in terms of Vs, what will be Vp? Uh, in terms of Vp, sir, Vp is nothing but uh, uh, minus Gm into. Okay. Right. Ah, yes, sir, yes. Minus sir. L, but minus L, right? Yeah. Okay, so what will be now this current? This will be GM times, GM3 times, or GM times. Let's, uh, let's treat as um, for now, uh, this will be GM3. Let's say their GM is equal, and their GM1, this is GM1, this is GM3, this is GM2. So it will be GM3 times Vs divided by 2 R0. GM3, right? Because this potential is gate bias to this transistor. Okay, so now if I apply KCL at VS here, so tell me. What will be my values? This will be G1 VCM 2 times GM1 VCM. 
two types of gm one vs one right uh, so, vs by r not equal to vs by r not equivalent to vs by r not so this is basically two times gm one vcm minus vs minus v is equal to vs by r not now if i solve this you will get two times gm one vcm equivalent to vs will be common this will be 1 by R0 plus 2 times G1. Okay. So we need to find what is Vs, right? So Vs will be Vs will be 2 times G1 R0 divided by 1 plus 2 times G1. One R not okay times yeah V S is equal to one sir V C M so V S is equal to V C M yeah hmm. if we assume two times J M R not much much greater than one greater than one that means V S is equal to V C M V S is equivalent to VCM. What does it signify? It is acting as a voltage buffer, sir. So, common drain amplifier. It signifies that to keep current constant, right? To keep current constant, what we need? VGS would remain constant, right? So if VCM changes, if VCM changes, that is your signal to your um, device, VS will change proportionally. By the same proportion or proportion, yes. Okay. So what happens is now that if there is a change in if there is a change in VCM, there is a change in VS. So basically, VCM minus VS is zero. So it should be zero, right? Because for the common mode signal, the device should not give any let's say let's we call you know that you must have read the word this common mode gain so there should be the common mode gain should be very less okay so now if we calculate this gain how do you calculate this common mode gain that is here this is v output right since this is a current mirror, let me ask you this. This is a current mirror. Okay. Tell me if you consider channel length modulation. All right. If current I naught is flowing here. I know by two, and here also I know by two. So what will be the condition on this potential? If this is V D, what should be this potential? Let's say this is V X. What should be this V X such that the current flowing is same? If you consider C L M, sir, it should be also V D only. Then only the same current will get flow. Yes, right. Because if we consider C L M, then your drain current is. New N, let's say this is for N MOS. 1 plus lambda times VDS will be the addition call term. Yes. VDS. This is simple. Linear is that oh, yeah. yeah. Now, if we treat saturation, then it will be VGS minus VT. Also, 1 plus lambda. 
VDS, right? So this VDS comes in the picture. If we consider CLM, then this potential needs to be same as this potential. So can you tell me what will be V naught then? Yeah. What will be V naught here? V naught. V yeah. You just said to me that it should be equal to the, this potential, this should be equal to VD. So now directly you can tell me what will be V naught here. Sir, uh, V naught should be zero, no? No, why should it be zero? Uh, okay. Think about Sorry. it, the circuit is uh, here made, so you can just check. Uh, sir, I mean, uh, left side circuit, what is V0 you are asking, sir? This is V0, this is your drain potential here. This arrow, can you spot it? Here, one second. Yes, I'm talking about this, V0. Okay, okay. yeah, sir, sir. So one minute, sir. I will, I will think, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, we know you can just uh, if you want the audio is not clear, you can type in the circuit, okay, type in the chat box. What would be we not? Here? Sir, could you give any clues, sir? I mean, uh, sir, it, it should be if if, uh, if a current is coming there, it should be VDD minus uh, some drop across uh, the current source, sir. Okay, uh, tell me, in this circuit, mm -hmm. you just told me that for the same current to flow through the device, this Vx should be equivalent to Vd. Yes, sir. So why did you tell me that? Because, because then only the mm -hmm. current flowing will be equal. Same. So what is mm -hmm. the difference in this circuit? Uh, the same no. current is flowing through both branches because yes, this is again the current mirror. So for same current to flow through the both branch, so the potential at this node at, at this node should be equal because this is the drain potential for your N MOS. This is same, right? The circuit is same as this circuit. Here VD is minus VS by two times R naught GN3. What is the confusion you can just? Uh, sir, one minute, sir. I mean, uh, someone is calling, sir. I will answer. Okay. 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 Take your time. Uh, sir, uh, sorry, you're asking uh, what is V not no, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. what is V? Yeah, one. Sir, for the delay, sir. Hmm? And you know, you can, if you have answers, you can just type in the chat box. Sir, uh, 
means v naught should be uh, sir if you uh, sir before going to that we can take a k kcl across the v naught itself no sir mm -hmm. No, I'm not here telling you to just calculate. I'm telling you if we have to consider CLM, mm. so potentials in the current mirror should be equal. Think yes. like that. Think like that, then answer me. You have left branch, you have right branch, and you have answered me one already. You can just think in the same way and tell me what is your answer. Uh, I mean, uh Sir, I mean, if the channel length modulation is present, then uh, output resistance won't be zero, sir. There would be one more path across the. Uh, each I don't want. Uh, I don't want you to take pen and paper and calculate. I want you directly look at the circuit and tell me the answer. What is V naught, no, sir? Hmm. Yeah, V naught is nothing but uh, minus V S two or not by G M three, sir. Yes. So what was stopping you from telling me this answer? Okay, okay. No, sir. In, in middle, uh, in lab, the someone is calling me. That's why. Okay, no issue. Just look at the circuit again. Give it time. If you are not able to digest this answer, you can just tell me. Yeah, understand. Sir. Okay. It, it should be same. Hmm. So it should be same, right? Yes. Sir. So now, okay. Now ACM is. This is V naught. Divided by common mode voltage. So usually, what we do is in common mode voltage, it is V1 plus V2 divided by 2. Okay, that is what is V1 plus V2. What is V1 and V2? V1 and V2 is usually this voltage. We call it as V1 here and V2 here. In the common mode stage, what we do is we give their average voltage to their both gates to calculate the common gain. Okay, so in this mode, you just told me ACM is V naught by this VC, and V naught is minus VS divided by two times R GM three. All right. And also, we calculated that VCM is nearly equivalent to VS. VS, right? So can I directly divide it by VS? Yes, sir. We can. VCS will get cancelled out. It would be. Yes, and yes, we go. So my ACM is minus one by two times. Uh, okay, now tell me what is AD? That is differential mode gain. Yes, sir. Differential mode gain is nothing but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. V1 minus V2. So by two, no, sir. No, no. By two. Why, oh, why should it be by two? That is okay. average. Average is taken for CM. Okay. Okay, fine, fine. So, what will be this uh, ADM? Uh, sir, V1 V1 minus V2, uh, it should be both are identical, no, sir. You just told me in the first slide we wrote it this, right? Ah, yeah, 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 sir, correct, correct. Okay, so you know what is the definition for CMR? Uh, differential uh, common mode gain by differential sorry, differential mode gain by common mode gain sir right so ideally it should be infinite right yes sir so that means ad this is g1 r01 parallel r03 and divided it will get multiplied by 2 times g3 r0 okay so this is your common mode rejection ratio if you consider CLM in the circuit, and ideally CMIR should be infinite. What does infinite signify? Uh, um, larger value. No, it signifies 
Yeah, it is larger value. CMRR should be large. It signifies that circuit does not respond to common mode signals. That is, there is very less gain. That is gain for common mode signals is very less. Okay? Because we don't want, because we don't want our amplifier to respond to common more signals. Okay. So this one more thing. Okay, now this was for common modes. Now, if consider differential mode analysis. I will give you the circuit, uh, you will tell me what will be the answer, okay? So this is again, this is again a transistor. Alright, this is your R0. But this time, this is, if this is Vs, Signal of Vd by 2 minus Vx is applied here, and Vd by 2 minus Vx is applied here because in differential mode gain, what you do is at both the terminals you give one input plus and another is minus. Here, what we do is we give it magnitude, keeping magnitude as same equal to Vd by 2 or V in plus is equivalent to minus times V in minus is equal to V divided by 2. So this is your differential mode analysis. Now tell me something about this potential Vs in differential mode. So what it will be? Sir, sir it won't be the no, same as previous sir, because of yeah. the... Yeah, because it won't of be the, same. Yeah, because of minus VD2 and plus VD2 in differential ah. differential amplifier, DC voltage should be same uh, and the AC voltage should be 180 degrees phase shift. Mm -hmm. So I want you to calculate what would be Vs. Okay, fine. Uh, Vs. We know you also. You can just uh, it's a simple answer. You can just type in the chat. Sir, VS is nothing but. Uh, sir, could you please show me in a previous slide, sir? Okay. This one? Uh, before that. Before, before. This one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. Sir, now, now go to the original questions. Yes.
Sir, VS should be uh, times GM1 plus. Mm -hmm. I think I commit a mistake, sir. Okay, I agree. Uh, sir, uh, sir, what I um, uh, based on small signal analysis, uh, I mean, uh, I took the common mode as a VD minus VX minus VS. A GM2 mm -hmm. minus VD minus sorry, VD. Sorry, 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 one second, one second. One second, one second. I done a mistake. My apologies for that. This is VX. I want to call it VX. Okay, VX. No, it, it should be VX by R. Yeah. No. Calculate it. Then tell me your answer. Yes, sir. Sorry, you are speaking, sir. No, no, no. Yes, sir. Sir, VX should be GM1 VD by 2 minus GM2 VD by 2 by 2 times of GM1, 2 times of GM2 plus 1 by R0, sir. We got a very long answer. You know, do you have any answers? So, did you try this KCL at X? Yes, sir. Same, sir. So what did you write? Means GM1, GM1 VD minus VX. VD by minus VX. Minus VX. Hmm. Plus, okay. Yeah, minus V X hmm. equal to V X by R not. V X by R not. Then solve it. Okay. This G M by G M V D by two minus G yes. V X plus. Let's say one VD by two for minus. Yes, yeah, sir. It should be uh, VX is equal to GM one plus uh, sir GM one VD by two minus GM two VD by two by so GM one plus. Yes, sir. Is it right? This sentence will go. Yes, yeah, sir. It will cancel out. So it will be GM one VX. VX. 
equal to Vx bar, not Vx fix it, we get cancelled. We don't have it cancelling because we want to calculate. So I will take it on the right hand side. So Vx is mean common. This will be 1 by R0 plus 2 times 0. And it will be equivalent to 0. Now tell me. What will be Vx? Vx is 0, sir. So this implies because this term is not equal to 0. Okay? So that mm -hmm. means Vx is 0. What does it signify here? Uh, sir, it is, I mean, uh, it is not acting as a differential amplifier. No, it is acting as a differential amplifier. Uh, it signifies that, or it implies that. It implies that CLM of usually when you say this is R0, this is usually a current source, right? It is actually a transistor here. That's called M0. CLM of M0 does not affect the differential mode. Differential mode, small no signal, operation, okay. In common mode, we saw that uh, there is a change in Vs, uh, Vx or Vs, but in differential mode, Vx is 0. So then, you can directly tell me V0 by V2. That is simply again Gm1. It will be same. There is no change in this. Okay. Okay. So was it clear that CLM does not affect differential mode operation? Yes, sir. But I have a doubt, sir. Okay. Doubt regarding magnitude, sir. I mean, I am not. Uh, I'm, I am. Uh, I have some gap, sir. Previous okay, question, sir. sir Sir, in the, whenever if you take a differential amplifier, whenever you have, we are giving input to the MOSFET, mm -hmm. DC source should DC DC should have same magnitude, no sir, across the two terminals. I hear it is a mm -hmm. minus three dB by two. Is uh, means uh, we can also so, give like that, sir. When when you give differential input, what you do is you give a signal. Uh, at one foot, you will give V in a uh, positive. And another point, you give the same magnitude but change of phase. So that's what we have done here. We give Vd by 2 here and same magnitude. We give it an equal, uh, equal but 180 phase shift. That's what we did. Okay. Okay. Sir. okay. Okay, so this is it. Now let's have this one question. Okay, can you uh, try it? Have you tried? Have you tried it? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, but uh, yeah. go yeah. your approach. I mean, in previous day, uh, go, with, go with your approach. So, can you tell me, uh, can you try it for a few minutes? And uh, okay. tell me if you come up with some answer. Uh, actually, I tried, sir. It will be 1 plus R2 by R1, like that. Okay, 1 plus R2 by R1. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Let's see. You are, I think, correct, but we need to check whether it is R2 by R1 or R1 by R2. Okay. So, the question is, we need to conclude. Okay, this is a current mirror, right? This, sir. this is a current mirror, you know it's basic operation, but we have these two visitors connected. Hmm. So, what is this? This is a feedback. 
and you know there are two types of feedbacks negative feedback first negative and positive can you tell me what is the so sir uh, negative feedback will have a uh, uh, stability uh, in uh, i mean no, no, no. Uh, I, i want to tell i want to tell me which kind of feedback is this is it negative feedback or is it positive feedback this is your v out take this okay. as a right to see how v out changes and tell me whether it is a negative feedback or positive sir um, i think uh, yeah it is um, think about it for two minutes yeah yeah i will think and then yeah so so much sir based on the definitions uh, negative feedback is nothing but uh, it it is it will subtract the uh, output from the uh, through feedback it will subtract the output and uh, minus input and it will um, mm, think it in think it in this way negative feedback means it decreases your gain okay it decreases your let's say we have or Okay, yeah, gain. It decreases your gain. Think it in that way. If your V out increases, what happens? Whether it increases further V out or it decreases V out. Think it in that way. Then we tell me what it is. Sir, in this case, uh, V out is increasing only, no, sir, because it is one plus uh, R. Oh, okay. addition it is passed to feedback that is a gain one plus r2 by r1 will give you a particular gain oh, so yes, i want you to tell me what if i increase v in i increase v in what will happen ah yes sir ah yeah i get your point yes sir, yes, sir. if i increase v in okay Sir, if I increase the V in, sir, uh, then uh, up, uh, if beyond the point, um, then uh, up, I mean, uh, current meter transistor will you get affected? Sir. Mm-hmm. So, if a current meter get transistor will get affected, uh, it, it it will it won't get affected, sir. I think it is a uh, diode connected, na? Okay, so it's like this. If V in increases. Ignore this R two and R one for a second. Mm. If this current increases, so there should be this current that should increase as well, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So now consider this potential. Okay. One second. Connect the charger. in the very first section i told you that this is like this if this current and this current are not same if this current i2 and this is i1 if i2 is Less than I one. What happens if I one increases? V out will increase, right? Yes, Remember, sir. right? So basically, if now I two increases, this V out decreases. Okay. So basically, if this current increases, this current will increase. Yes, sir. Now we will have to check what happens. This transistor. So when this current increases, that means this potential increases. Right? Yes. Now see, V out. If V out increases, what happens? What happens to this potential? Will it increase or decrease? It will decrease, sir. It will increase. Why should it in- decrease? Okay. Sir. You have bias also this term. Okay. They have this VDD. This is R one. This is R two. So this is R. Sir, VD VD is present, sir. This is like this. V X V X will be VDD divided. If VDD increases, V X will also increase, right? Hmm. 
So now tell me if V in increases, this current increases, this current increases, okay, and that will increase your V out. If V out increases, this potential increases as well, right? Now tell me. If this potential increases, this is a gate bias, right? So if this potential increases, what will happen to this current? Will it increase or will it decrease? Simple, gate bias increases current. Sir, if gate bias increases, means your current will also increase. Means. Current will also increase, right? Current yes, increases sir. as well. Now you have this transistor. Okay. So you have this current coming here, which is increasing, but you have this current which is increasing as well. So what will it do? It will again lower this V out. So basically what is happening due to R2 and R1 is that if you increase the V in, the current increases in this branch, there is no doubt, it will increase V out, but due to R2 and R1 connection, it will increase the gate bias which will, which will increase the current through this transistor and that will again lower the V out. So it is acting in a negative feedback because it decreases your V out, okay, it fixes your gain, right, that's why your gain is 1 plus R2 by R1, so it won't depend on your V in, right, the gain is fixed, do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, let's now calculate how we get this R2 by R1. Okay. Let's assume all have the equal JM. So what will be this potential here? What will be this potential? This is JM being current flowing. Sir, across uh, this node, sir. 1 by gm, yes, across 1 by gm. What will be potential? This potential P. Uh, Vp. Yes, sir. It should be V in, sir. It should be minus V, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Minus V. So the current point here is gm Vn, right? Mm. So now, if I do KCL, KCL at X, okay, so this is J of V in is equivalent to V out divided by R1 plus R2, right? So what will be this current? Can you tell me what will be this current? One minute, sir. I mean the GMVN is equal to your by okay. Sir, it it would be sir. zero, sir. Let's see this is M2, this is O1 current. Okay. Sir, across across X it is a GM when VN is coming. And uh, current for M2. Yeah. I want you to tell me what is the current for M2. 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 Yes, sir. GM1 V in, sir. Minus GM1 V in. 
Vn is the input voltage. What is its input voltage here? M for M. What is the input voltage? Input voltage is Vn, sir. So if I no no for M two, M two is not Vn. Check again. Oh, sir, uh, for M two, input voltage is nothing but uh, uh, V. Uh, sir, one minute, sir. Uh, it could be uh, R one mm -hmm. by. V out R1 by R1 plus R2, sir. Right. So current flowing is GM times R1 divided by R1 plus R2 V out, right? Yes, sir. So the current flowing here, current flowing here, it will be added to this ACL. All right. Yes, sir. So we can take common 1 by R1. Circle. So V out divided by R1 plus R2 will be common. This will be equal to J R1. Right? So now, yes, sir. assuming VMR1 is greater, greater than 1, so this will be basically J V in is equivalent to V out by R1 plus R2, it's Vm R1, Vm and Vm will cancel, so V output by V input is equal to R1 plus R2 divided by R1, so yes, sir. the game that is V output by V input is equal to 1 plus R2 by R1. R2 by R1. So we just said, how did you derive this? Similar manner only, sir. Hmm? Similar manner only, sir. I mean, okay. previously, ma'am said uh, about this thing. Okay, okay, okay. So, this is clear, right? We just understood the yes, values yes. of R2 and R1 and you can get the answer. Okay. What is the output impedance of the circuit with feedback? Looking into the circuit from the outside. So you know that uh, when you have negative feedback, if earlier the resistance was R, then with feedback it will be 1 plus gain times, right? Gain times that is actually the open loop gain, gain the yes, feedback factor, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So here, forward path, uh, forward path, uh, that plus one plus came into forward. Yeah. R out was RO. Just remember, actually, it is RO PMOS and RO and MOS. You don't need to uh, remember it by. Uh, R1 and R3. Okay, this is actually. No, one second. This is. One second. This is PMOS. This is NMOS. Okay, when you say R01 parallel R03, that is actually RON parallel R0 P. Okay. We can just directly write it as this. So, with negative feedback. Will be parallel R1 divided by 1 plus gain, you know, that is actually R3 parallel R1 multiplied by feedback factor that comes out from the resistors. Okay, and this total, total will be this, let's call it as. R, R dash total will be R dash and you have this R1 plus R2 in parallel. Okay. Culture, you can just substitute the values to get the answer. Second. You have to now, you will tell me how you will calculate GM. Okay, now you need to calculate GM. Is there anything that is given? 
Maybe this was I noticed even in some previous questions. You can check it, but this is how we will do it. You know GM definitions for GM, right? So one is yes, okay, sir. okay, ID, another is simple, K times VGS minus VT, okay? So I'm sure you know how to use this relation. This will be someone related to this one, twice square root of the ID. Okay? Uh, sir, my, my question, sir, here, first one you said second. about negative feedback, sir. One second. One second, one second. Yes. Sir. Okay, so in this case, actually, this again, and, but this again, I doubt it will be correct. I need to check it. Okay, I need to check it, huh? What was your doubt? No. My question is, uh, yeah. sir, sir, with negative feedback, you write the formula, sir. Sir, RO parallel with RON, 1 plus EM tens of RO parallel with RON. Mm -hmm. And the whole, it is parallel with R1 plus uh, R2, no, sir? Yes, yes. Uh, sir, I am. Uh, I'm not. I mean, uh, what's the logic, sir? I mean, how can we? Okay. Negative feedback. Till negative feedback, I'm comfortable, sir. Okay. So this is actually uh, when you don't have this R1 plus R2 here, right? What you will do? You will calculate R out from here. R out one, R out two. Okay. At yes, that sir. time, at that time, this terminal is grounded, right? Yes, sir. Right. So now again, you are you will use the same steps and calculate R out one and R out two. But at this time, this node is not grounded. But there will be some potential across this R one, and it will be a voltage divider R one divided by R one plus R two. So that's how that factor comes R1 by R1 divided by R1 plus R2. Okay. 
because what we'll do you will connect a test source here vx v, vt it right yes sir let me draw it here so earlier you will connect a test source vt and current it will flow let's say you will calculate r out okay now this is not same as this one now if you have to call with r out here and you connect a test source here vt it okay so what we will do you have this circuit now this is vt it but this potential is r1 divided by r1 plus r2 vt once you calculate this resistance looking here then it is in parallel with r1 plus r2 like we used to do in most of the mosfet cases like we have this uh, rl connected then we calculated r out from this node and once we calculate r out then r total is r out parallel r that's what is done here basically in this case this is grounded in this case this is not grounded there is some factor r1 divided by r1 plus r2 once you use this uh, in the analysis you will get that factor in your so yes. why we why we use parallel because uh, we do the analysis from this node and then again we have this node now that is not grounded this is some part of this test source and then at last we have to keep it in parallel yes sir get your points okay so this is okay next is a uh, something related to op amp what is an op amp sir it is a differential amplifier uh, it is voltage control voltage uh, source you can say uh, what is the full form of op amp operational amplifier sir okay operational amplifier sir sir before uh, going to this sir there are few more questions sir in that in the same week i think uh, in this set i have just kept uh, because differential amplifier we discussed in last week as well because uh, we were already late so i think i had just kept this question and we have two more two or three more related to op amps so what are the questions you can just uh, tell me or we can discuss in next session if you want to again because uh, we have not covered the time response uh, or frequency response or that uh, you must have yes sir only two so, questions sir we can discuss uh, after completing the class sir uh today we will have to see if we can cover it or you can just um, tell me from which week which questions and we can uh, discuss quickly in the next session okay sir so you can same week sir what you okay. same week 7 only sir week 7 yes sir what you discuss sir, is till fifth question sir okay week 7 uh, question number 5 till week uh, question 5 you discuss sir uh, discuss it till now okay so what you want me to discuss next time uh next five five questions sir next four questions uh, i don't think we can discuss all four um, because uh, sir, at, um, least, at least three sir uh, okay uh, six seven eight six seven eight yes okay i need to see if we can um, okay uh, sir if a bit possible uh, neglect eighth question sir Uh, 
Okay, so why did we reach on OPAM? So, did you tell me the full form of OPAM? Operational amplifier. Yes. So, why yes. operational amplifier? Mm. Uh, for, uh, for more amplification, sir. In, through common source, we cannot uh, uh, get that this much DC gain through uh, 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 through cascading through. No, no. no. I mean, uh, to say, why are they called as operational amplifiers? Oh no, I, I don't know about TV, sir. I mean, uh, how the name came, I don't know. Oh, okay. Does anyone else know why? We call them as operational amplifiers. Okay. It's simple because of these are used, these were used in analog circuits for mathematical. Yes. Mathematical operations. Like addition, subtraction, integration. Okay. So, consists of two input terminals. One. Inverts the phase of signal and one preserves the phase of signal. What does that mean? It means that if I give a sinusoidal signal, the input at negative terminal. I will get output which has a change of phase. Okay, so let's say if I give this signal at output, I will get this signal. Okay, amplified one. But if I give it at a positive positive terminal, then I will get a same phase. That means I will get this signal. This is at negative inverting phase. This is same. Okay. So symbol. Symbol for your OPAM is like this. So these are the inputs. Basically, OPAM has a differential amplifiers. That's why we first studied about differential amplifiers now we go to open ideal open attributes number one Infinite and differential gain. Zero common mode gain. Infinite. Input input and zero. Yes, right. This is for ideal case. Sir, previously you discussed about uh, uh, while discussing about common mode gain uh, and. Um, Sir, uh, uh, differential gain uh, ideally it is infinity. Uh, so, in a real term, if it is, uh, it won't be infinity, it is uh, larger. Like that yeah. you said about technician, sir. Previously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are here. I have mentioned here, you can check ideal case. In ideal yes. case. I don't know, sir. Uh, my question is 
ah uh, if it is infinite differential gain what about the zero comma mode gain if it is finite how uh, what, you don't uh, discuss about these points sir what what, uh, what what did you just say sir in uh, previous case you discussed about ideally if it is uh, uh, infinite but uh, practical it won't be uh, infinite because of the because of this uh, there is a one limitation like that you explain no, sir you have written in the theory mm hmm Similarly, for a zero common mode gain, uh, can you could you write it, sir? It would be continuation. Oh, why are I have to write it? I have written it here. Zero common mode gain. Not here, sir. In uh, in the previous case, uh, while deriving deriving the common mode gain and differential mode gain for the uh, one operation amplifier before that before. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. It's one month after after this slide, sir. It signifies yes, sir. Okay. Ideally, CMR should be infinite, right? Yes, sir. CMR is nothing but a common mode gain. Ah, yeah, that is AD, AD by ACM. Yes, sir. right. So that is the case when ideally either AD should be infinite, or we say that the common mode signal, common mode gain should be zero. So that's why I have written it because we don't want our amplifier to respond to the common mode signals. That means. That is ACM should be nearly equal to zero. That's why you're talking about, right? Ah uh, yes, sir. This thing. Okay. Anything else? Yes. Yeah. So we are here now. We have two configurations. Inverting and non-inverting. Right. So back here. So this is an op amp. Inverting means your input is connected to the negative terminal. Negative terminal, right? And usually, you know that op amps are connected in a feedback configuration. So this is inverting. Let me ask you: Is this inverting or non-inverting? Inverting. Okay. So this is a. This is a this is inverting, right? So can you tell me what is the gain of the circuit? Can you just quickly? Uh, pick up minus time. minus R F upon R G. Okay, so gain is minus R F upon Does everyone agree? Yes, sir. By okay. using virtual ground. Okay, so if I use a Lexus quickly. Do this. So this is the virtual ground. So if I use KCL here, so this is basically V in minus zero by R G, and the current is leaning here. This is basically zero minus V out by R F. So that will give you basically V output by V input. As minus R M by R G. What does minus sign signify? Inverting. Minus yes. One eighty degrees phase shift is it? One eighty degrees phase shift. So this is the inverting class. The next is.
Tell me how to draw a normal meeting. Same, uh, same thing, sir. Instead of uh, plus, we can change minus. That's it. So we will directly connect it to here. Is it correct? So now. What will be gain? So gain should be one plus. Correct. Uh, correct. So where will you use the analysis? How will you tell me? How can you calculate it? Yes, sir. Sir, by using the virtual ground, not virtual ground. It should be being uh, same that voltage across the inverting non-inverting terminal. Same voltage you'll get. In in the non inverting terminal as well. So mm. V in here across the RG, the voltage would be V in. Mm. Correct. And yes, in terms of V out, what would be that voltage? In terms of V out, voltage across RG is equivalent to RG divided by RF plus RG. V yes. out, and that is equivalent to V in, right? Mm. So V out put by V input is basically one plus R by R H. So this is how you calculate gain in the circuits. Is okay? So if this is clear, then I think you should be able to do this question. So what does the question say? We need to find out the pole, location of a pole and zero. So, so you know that in any transfer function. If this is a plus j omega divided by c plus j omega d, so numerator gives you zero, and denominator gives you four. Okay, so it simplifies our analysis. So I create it as feedback resistance RF. I treat this whole as ZF and this as Z. Okay. So this is an inverter. This is inverting, right? Yeah. So can you tell me what will be gain? That is V output by V input. Minus Z F upon Z G. Yeah, that is Z F upon Z G. So that means your gain is what is Z F? That is R two plus C two. R two plus R two into S two S S two C two sir. Okay. In in the lapis to minimum sir. R one plus X. Okay, this is correct, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So sir, but is... I have a little doubt, sir. Yeah, sure. Sir, uh, uh, in none of the MOSFET we are not considered X C two. In a capacitive reactance, in most of the cases we are not considered. We are considered the C two or the capacitors as an uh, you know closed circuit. I mean the short circuit. In case of you know AC signals, mm -hmm. and we are never considered. I don't know why is it so, but one upon two pi F, FC two we are never considered. We are just considered in all MOSFET circuits. We are considered everything as an short circuit. Yes. For yes. the of course AC signal, DC is open, so that's out of question. Mm -hmm. But as that we are, sir, we have considered only the you know XC uh, XC two we are never considered. Yeah. One upon two pi FC two. Yes. Yes. That's actually so 
that's actually when you do the analysis and uh, these capacitors act as short after a particular frequency okay yeah. so in the analysis mosfet analysis it's assumed that you are operating in that frequency where this capacitor acts as a short okay okay but basically uh, in next week or after that week we will discuss that mosfet analysis in which uh, we will calculate the frequencies after which the capacitors will act as a short Okay. So for for that we have to calculate uh, resistance. For in actually we calculate the time constants, and that will give you the frequency value after which a particular capacitor will act as a short in the circuit. Okay. Okay. Or is it because the XC two is very very low, or the capacitance is very very low, capacitor reactance so low that can it you can afford to uh, you know neglect it? Is it like that? Sir? No. For AC analysis, uh, the capacitor. If for example, let's say. You're operating at 10 gigahertz. It yeah, depends. Really it, yeah, it now depends on the value of capacitor whether it will act as a short because the reactance is one by omega c, right? Yeah. It, it depends on frequency and as well as capacitance value. Now, if yeah. you are operating at 10 gigahertz but your capacitance is very very low. Yeah, almost zero. Okay, so it will give you some reactance, so it won't act as a short. So for that, yeah, yeah. we we calculate for a particular capacitance value. Let's say this is one farad. Let's say for this one farad, we will calculate in a circuit after what frequency it will act as a short. So, but okay. but for MOSFET analysis, you have you must have seen we assume that the capacitors are short and we operate in that frequency range where this capacitor acts as a short. Okay, so thank you. Okay. Yes, sir. Do we have a question, sir? We need to. We will. I will calculate capacitance accordingly, you know, sir. We in order to act as open circuit, short circuit based on the test test voltage, uh, omega and uh, R two C two based mm -hmm. on the time. You, based you, on yeah. that only we will calculate, na. No? Either yeah. then only it will act as a short and or yes. open circuit. Yes, yes, yes. So that's why you have to calculate that. Uh, we will do that in next week, hopefully, in that kind of analysis. And why we will have multiple circuits? Why do you have to calculate uh, the time constant or the frequency after which a particular capacitor will act as a short? If that is good, then let's see what is XC two. What about omega C two? J omega C two, and yeah. this will be like this: J omega C two total divided by R two plus one by J omega C two. Similarly, four divided by R one divided by J omega C one, four divided by R one plus one by J omega C one. If I just do the quick analysis, J omega C two, this will be one plus R two J omega C two, four divided by R one, one plus J R one omega C one. This will be Equivalent to R two by R one multiplied by one plus J R one omega C one divided by one plus J omega R two C one. So we have to calculate pole. Pole will be given by one plus J omega R two C two equal to zero. Equal to zero. So that will basically give you omega is equivalent to One by R two, sorry. Okay. So this will give you pole, and in the next question you have to calculate zero. This is basically minus sign. This will be a minus sign here. No, sorry. This all will be minus sign. Minus sign. Omega zero will be minus R one R one zero. Right? This is okay, right? We will see those questions. Uh, we just, just ask you. We will see those in the next session. 
that is the frequency response of the circuit. Let's study that. Now, this is one question, OPAM. Uh, again, the OPAM. What we need to do is the circuit below, assume the MOS device has K, K of 86 millisiemens per volt and lambda is 0.1. Assume that OPAM has a gain of 554. 554. Now, RL and input voltage is also given. What is the output impedance looking into the source? Source is this, right? Give your answer in many ohms. Do not discriminate the OPAM while computing this. Only disregard RL. We don't need to consider RL. We need to calculate RS. RS. That also be okay. So, what will be my first step? First step is to connect here VTIT, right? And what will be voltage here? Okay, let's say gain is A. So it will be, let's call it V in. And let's say this is V out. So voltage will be V in minus V out, right? So, to calculate output impedance, what are the points? Ground, the input voltage. Right? So that means V input is 0. Therefore, what will be the Total voltage here that is the gate voltage to the um, MOS. Minus A. Minus A. Output is that V test, right? Because we have connected a V test here. So this will be VT. Is this clear? Yeah. Or I need to explain again. So if this is okay, then if I draw simple now small signal equivalent circuit for this M1, it's called M1. This is I test V test. This is R node, and again this is ground, and this is at a potential of V T. Okay, now if I do a KCL here, KCL at X, what do I get? This is IT plus GVGS is equivalent to VT by R0. Okay. So that is basically IT minus A times VT is equal to VT by R0. AT, AVT will go on the right hand side. So that is basically IT is equivalent to VT will be common. Sorry, GM. So AGM plus Leano basically. VT by IT is equivalent to R0 divided by 1 plus GM. One second, one second. This is the best. Right here. So KCL at X will give me 
आई टेस्ट प्लस जे एम डी जी एस इज इक्वल टू वी टेस्ट बाई आर नॉट दैट इज बेसिकली आई टेस्ट माइनस सॉरी प्लस जीएम टाइम्स वीजीएस इज माइनस ए वी टी माइनस वी टेस्ट इज इक्वल टू वी टी ठीक सो न This is it. If I take V T and G M on the right hand side, it will be G M times A V T plus V T plus V T by or no? Or I T will be G M A plus one plus one by or no? Is equal to V T. So V T by I T is basically or no divided by One sorry, this is G M. So this is basically one plus G M R dot plus G M A. Um, all more simplified way, it will be one plus G M R dot A plus one. This is the total. Ara. now uh, one more thing uh, is that this now for the analysis what will be the current flowing through here that will be i dollar because the current flowing through will be zero so and assume that uh, this is virtually connected so this will be uh, v input so the current is v input by rl and that is basically 1.2 volt divided by RL is 43 ohms, right? Sorry, 43 ohms. To calculate it, you will get ID. Why did I do that? Because uh, we need GM. GM is then two times K ID, and K is also given that is 86 milliseconds. If you calculate it, GM will come out to be. Ninety-seven point ninety-seven milliseconds, and similarly, R naught is one by lambda I D, and lambda is given point one per volt, and that will basically be equivalent to point two kilo. Calculate it, you will get a R. Okay. Yeah. Any questions uh, on this part? I will update the slides and check if the previous slides are updated as well. Any questions related to OPAM? No, sir. Okay, I will discuss uh, in the next session. What we will do? We will see uh, from the, uh, question number six, seven, and nine from week seven, and then we will uh, uh, hopefully discuss the frequency response of the circuits. Okay. Uh, sir, sir, one one doubt, sir, one doubt. Okay. Sir, same question. If it is uh, same question, uh, if uh, input is changed to non-inverting terminal. In what question? Uh, yes, yeah, sir. I mean a similar question, sir. In down instead of that, instead of in, he, in this question, they changed the. This one or this uh, one question? Yeah. Oh, no, no, sir. Question two. One second. One yeah, second. question two, sir. Okay. Yeah, sir. In this question uh, extension, sir. Instead of uh, NMOS, uh, they given PMOS. Instead of input given to inverting terminal and uh, non-inverting terminal, it is given to inverting terminal. Uh, okay. Could you please discuss this question also, sir? I mean, uh, sir. So, uh, what is the question? Same question. A uh, similar question, sir. He in the in the in this question, mm -hmm. instead of NMOS, they given PMOS. Okay. And input is given to non-inverting, uh, I mean, or inverting terminal, sir. Okay. So basically, what you are saying is, one second.
So what you're saying is this is PMOS in that question. Yes, sir. And this input yeah. is given here. Yes, sir. It will talk. I mean, uh, plus and minus get changed. That's it. Okay, rest of it is connected in the same way. Yes, sir. Yeah. Like this. They swap the terminals. Okay. Like this, right? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Instead of NMOS, PMOS. Sir. So, what will be again? In this case as well, uh, you you may have like this minus a been put here, right? Yeah. So, if you are giving a terminal at uh, inverting now, so this is this is minus, so it is zero minus. No, I'm sorry. Not mistake. In the previous case, I wrote a v in minus v out. Now it will be v out minus v in. That will be the only difference, I think. So then the rest of the analysis will be saved. You have now. Here, real value is v output minus v in. Now, in r out output impedance can be condition, we have to treat it as zero. So basically, <coughs> if when you will draw the circuit, check the so here at gate it will be simply a v in. V out, sorry. Okay. And since you are saying that that is a PMOS, so PMOS means this will be source, this will be drain. So, does the question say looking into the drain? Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, what does the question say? Does it say uh, looking into the drain? Well, same question, sir. Means what you have taken the question below. A... I think that if the question is same, only this will change. The voltage will change. Rest of the analysis will be same. Uh, I have shown uh, instead of uh, NMOS, they are given PMOS. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have inverted the terminals. Just that at a gate voltage, uh, earlier you wrote it as A V in minus V out. Now you have to write it as A V out minus V in. And rest follow the same analysis what we have done hundreds of times about the PMOS. It is same. Okay, sir. sir, sir, in the same week, mm -hmm. sir, in the same week, uh, uh, there is one question, sir. Uh, based on the gain, uh, the maximum error ter tolerable in the gain of the circuit is 0.04%. What is the minimum gain of the op amp that would require? So what is the so question? An, an open circuit is, uh, is to be designed for a gain of minus 2, sir. Okay. The maximum error tolerable in the gain of the circuit is 0.04%. Uh, what is the minimum gain of the open that required? Okay. I need to check the question, but I think uh, uh, you minus 2, you said the minus 2 is the gain. Uh, that is the maximum that you can go. Yes, sir. Okay, you need to check then uh, what is the, if you are changing the V input, what is the change in the gain of the op-amp? And you, you need to check what maximum gain you can achieve through op-amp and what is the minimum you can uh, go to. You have to check the boundaries of op-amp, then only you can check the total. Uh, I have not seen the question. I have to, I, I should see the question first to give the exact answer. Sir, but in the same week, in the same week only. After uh, this question, uh, there is a question. Presentation here actually in this case. Sir, could you, if you, if not possible, uh, can you discuss uh, uh, next week, sir? Yeah. sir these are the okay, then we don't. We have to skip then the frequency response if we have to continue this open and. The, uh, yes, sir, because it is a little bit uh, tricky, sir. That's why I am asking. Okay, sure, sure. I will discuss it in the next week.
Sir, can we mail you the questions you have in mind, sir? I think it's better if we can because uh, in from tomorrow I may be traveling, so okay, it's uh, it's better if we discuss one to one, so that doesn't leave any doubt. Okay. So, okay, we can discuss these uh, five to six questions in next week, and if the time, uh, if there is for the time, then we can go to some few questions related to frequency response, which I think is important. As well towards the end of the course. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. If there is no anything else, then we can, I think, close. Sir, uh, please update a uh, slide, sir. In the yeah, yeah. I have updated right. till uh, week eight. I will update this right now. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank. You. Thank you. Bye, bye.